Captain, isn't our destination supposed to be the exhibition hall of the Rimmit Cup? Of course. I think we just missed the front gate at the junction we passed just now. Where we are now looks like a deserted back door. And there is a no entry sign. <coughs> it's not important. It's not good for the fan favorite disc jockey to appear in the crowded areas. I don't want to make a noise. Oh, I see. I thought it was because Captain didn't have enough budget. <coughs> That's a complete misunderstanding. Our aim is to convince the ragged lad to expose the evil plans of those tin monsters. Of course we can't just walk him. Mr. Apple, do you remember Tommy's offer of a generous reward? He hopes we can divulge a sensational secret. Captain, it seems you really want that bonus. Of course not! The Righteous Street Pirate has a warm heart. We should do Tommy a favor. And we should accept a friend's quality thanks. I get it, Captain. The Great Rock Pirate saves the day. The cocky, ragged lad is no longer stray. The big hero who saves London takes a series of exclusive interviews. Endless bonus! <laughs> Captain. Captain, watch out! Hardness, the voice and the liquid released from the wound have nothing to do with humans. I am afraid they are. Oh, I get it! They're the security robots in the newspaper! Well, it might be. Fuddy-duddies don't have their beards in their heads, do they? We'll have to change the plan. London must not be taken over by these ugly tin monsters. We need to expose the security robots to the public for what they really are. They're violent, rude and extremely dangerous! This apple will fight by your side till the very end. No, you have a more important mission, Mr. Apple. Captain Regulus asks you to take over the nearest radio station. Roger that. Someone fair and square. My sword shot. I believe in you. Bravo. So long lives this, and this gives power to thee. Renia Sereno intenso ad infinito. 
The sword is drawn. Merci. Oh, I can't agree more. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Fight for the unarmed. A ravishing lady. A sword shot. Follow the will of God. Merci. So long lives this, and this gives power to thee. His trumpets sound. Judgment Day has come. Which matters more, knowledge or strength? says clearly on the leaflet, we welcome everyone who loves football. Yes, mister. Then you should let us in. Me, Wendy, Alice, Nelson, and Little Pickles, we all love football. I'm sorry, but no pets are allowed in here. We provide pet keeping services with professional police dog guarding. a good place to go. Have a great time in the puppy land.
Lovely to see you again, puppy with blue eyes. Huh? This apple has accepted a commission from Captain to investigate the venue. Oh, right. Since last time we met, this apple has been contemplating how to communicate with you. So, here it is. A simple translator, Doggy. It's still under testing, so the functions are not complete. Sometimes it just stops working. Also, it might somehow misunderstand dog language. Puppy expresses his gratitude. It's my pleasure. It's a pity that this apple doesn't have adequate time to test it. You'd better leave as soon as possible. Those violent security robots may show up at any time. Aww. The puppy expresses his denial. Hmm? There is something very important for the puppy inside.
Oh, I see. Fair enough. Let's head forward. In the face of danger, this apple will do his utmost to assist. How do you find this place at a glance? Have you been here? The puppy expresses his modesty. <sighs> the mission assigned by Captain progresses smoothly. We have a whole set of broadcasting equipment here. Hmm, then we only need to install a corresponding frequency interference device. Captain Regulus can fully control all radio channels within the radius of five kilometers. Bloody hell! Who let this plushy monster in? To... Now this whole place is contaminated by disgusting fur! Detected. What's wrong? You broke down? Risk rating. Request support. Request support. Terrible plushy monster. It, it must be a terrorist. We must put it down right now. All of you, drive it out. No, no, no put it down. It's, 
What are you doing? Get away from my pickles! It's you who brought it in. I now warn you, your dog is a bloody hazardous uncertainty and we must put it down. What a humbug! He's not hazardous at all! Every one of our neighbours loves him! Let's go! You don't have a voice here. You can't leave either. According to Item 5, Article 172 of the Guidance on Security, security companies have the right to directly deal with any dangerous items when on duty. I command you to hand me your dog. As compensation, we will buy you a more purebred and more friendly dog for helping us wipe out risks. Don't lose your mind to a pet dog. <laughs> about. He's my friend. Crazy bastard. Would you ever leave your friend alone? Well, fine. Maybe you would. Cold-blooded crap. Dead from the neck up. If you don't want to be put onto the World Cup audience blacklist, I kindly request you to stop what you are doing. Very well done. But I'll tell you what, you can't threaten me. I'm definitely not leaving Pickles alone. Go f*** the World Cup. <laughs> what a fool. Catch them! Did 
Look at the world I have never seen before. The show's on, hounds. An eye for an eye. Each moment, now night. Uh, finally. <laughs> Turn the ventilation system to the highest mode. I don't want any dog fur here. Other robots, go catch that dog! Command confirm. Nasty invader. I'm sorry, Mr. Iverson. Actually, I didn't know my entrance would be so straightforward. I think she knows the situation better than... Huh? Where is she? It seems you are the abandoned poor worm. What else are you going to show me? Any jokes of the never-will-happen utopia? It may be unrealistic, but it is possible. Whoa. Lots of bubbles. Is this the special event of the exhibition? These soap bubbles are... Ah, I see. The ventilation system is switched on. The soap bubble device I threw outside is now functioning! Excuse me, may I borrow your broken robots? Stop! What the hell did you do? What are these damn bubbles? Actually, this is a reformation of art. Get down from there, you bastard! Mom! It's that weird man! 
Is he provoking the robots? <gasps> he did sign the safety commitment statement, right? My friends, have you been fed up with the dull and dreary reality? Do you want to get rid of this place of cliché and red tape? You once yearned for a better world, a peaceful world with music. Open your eyes and look at the soap bubbles in front of you. Now! And salute to all the transient beauties. Don't you want to try some of these bubbles, Mr. Iverson? We can find a peaceful way to coexist. Boring little trick. Aren't you curious at all? Take a look at it and you'll activate every cell of art. Even iron nerds can sparkle their imagination. Don't tell me your imagination level is null. Joking time over. Your utopia has always been a joke. Only hegemony, hatred, and force can push history forward. Vain revolt is like helpless barking. Perhaps I will be expelled from this impromptu party, away from its artistic beauty, and forced to bid farewell to my new friends. Perhaps people as insensible, cold, and numb as you will become mainstream in the end. But it is not now. Nothing unexpected. For now. My sword shot. I know the moon, and this is an alien city.
sempre caro mi fu quest'erbo cola. I believe in you. So long lives this, and this gives power to thee. Lenia Sereno in terzo ad infinito. Brilliant. Although there were some unexpected hiccups, our plan went well. The fuse has been changed, bullets replaced, magnets installed. Most robots have been paralyzed. Even Mr. Iverson seems to be at a loss. It's not over yet. Yes. <laughs> it's better to say that the show hasn't yet begun. Let's turn up the light, turn down the air conditioning, and crank up the usage of the radio. Let's see, when will the replace fuse blow? Miss AC, we don't have much time left. Come on, let me bring you to a hidden place. Hopefully you don't mind swallowing a slightly bulky thing. What tricks did you come up with? This is going to be the most crucial part. <laughs> Please help me, Miss AC. Actually, 
According to item 18 in the safety commitment statement, we need to arrest the violators who interrupt others' visit. Tie him up and inject Mew Mew Mute your potion. I don't want to hear his stupid ideas anymore. Command received. Activate the spraying system. Clean all those damn bubbles. The farce is over. All our guests, please enjoy your visit. Unfortunately, those who were bewitched and violated the safety commitment statement, you will be further investigated after the exhibition. Cheeky dogs! Give my microphone back. My breath! I only took a bite! What's going on? Who let them in? Sorry, Mr. Iveson. There are too many of them. in time. <laughs> the sharp pirate captain has arrived at the grandest stage. This is 25 degrees east. You are listening to the Rockin' Apple, the most distinctive ship to date. Salute to all my discerning audience, my loving followers. You get it right. This pirate has hijacked all the radio frequencies here. You're able to pick up Radio Apple clearly from anywhere in London. Whether you're cheering for the moment, or wish to change the channel, whether you love rock and roll or hate all music. 
do not switch. If you don't want to miss the moment to unveil a conspiracy. A huge conspiracy about the London authorities and the compelling security robots. Boom. My friends, we are in the middle of a huge hoax. The London authorities have deceived everyone. It is impossible to have such obedient, flawless, safe and reliable security robots in this world. On the contrary, they use violence, harm citizens and show no kindness. What? To cover the backside and block the news, the man in charge, he keeps out the people who want to have fun to visit the Rimmick Cup. Captain Regulus clashed with the robot army at the back entrance of the hall. The brave captain managed to escape and to retreat. But there's no doubt that this is an infringement of our freedom. The incompetent London authorities attempt to work with security companies and use their awful robots to govern. They want to take our life away, render us helpless so they can manipulate us. What that pirate said, is that true? I am very sure you are deceived. But you did imprison the poor citizen. If that's what you think, I can now prove to you the reliability of new humans' security. Mr. Madbot, you and your evil plan have been overcome by the Justice Captain Regular. London belongs to us, belongs to freedom! You're right. In such case, security guards are more flexible. You... you mean... Do something! These people are breaking the rules! Are you just going to stand and watch? C copy that! Wha what are you doing? Run! The peace be with us. Merci. I believe in you. I know that. And this is an alien city. The sword is drawn. Sempre caro mi fu questermo cole. Merci. Never hesitate. The sword is drawn. Hand fell. Plan A. Plan B. Three, two, one. Will of Gods. The show's on, Hounds. Plan A. His trumpets sound. The judgment day has come. Time waits for no one, even for a great. Sorry. Mr. Apple.
apple. Here, put the tape away. <laughs> this pirate's instincts are never wrong. My assistant, Mr. Apple, has first-hand evidence of everything. It'll be the most sensational news. Every news agency will invest millions on it. The next song for the exasperated poor authority... Huh? Why is the power out? Mm-hmm. All is ready. Go! Turn on the emergency light! And go check the circuit! Copy that! You moron! What are you doing? This is not the emergency light! No... No, that wasn't me! The cup! The cup is missing! Flawless protection is just a disguise, while threatening is the essence. In such a dull and dreadful exhibition hall, does anyone still remember? Those stories full of imagination and miracles? The company that forged the Rimmick Cup and went bankrupt. You are. Oh, it's been a long time. The lead of new humans, the witness to the events that year, and the lucky man who finally retrieved the Rimmick Cup, Mr. Iverson. You know the story of the Rimmit Cup better than anyone, don't you? Who are you? You were repelled by Ramirez's novelty and hated their surprising imagination and miracle stories one after another. Apparently, it is better to follow the rules even if we fail. We'll have nothing to be blamed. To bury that shining star, the peers jointly forged a Rimmit Cup and carefully schemed a security commission that was doomed to fail. Bollocks! You are a thief! You're not going to defame us! <laughs> the Ramirez's have a tradition of leaving arcane marks on each item for safekeeping. The marks will be revealed with special cameras. Yes, this is the real Rimmit Cup that we have never protected before. Now, I have finally found the truth. <laughs> oh, sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. You may call me the Great Thief AC. For heaven's sake, she's that thief who stole countless treasures. My real name, of course. Melania Ramirez. Mr. Iverson, what shall we do? Don't listen to her. Are you going to believe a thief? But there's no article on guidance that we could follow to deal with a situation like this. 
started. Put her down, then everything will be fine. Gun ready. choice. Well, it's not surprising. Great. Considering someone's physical condition, the investiture can be simplified. Oh, I forgot to tell you that some of the equipment carried by the robots have violated the guidance on security. So, I replaced them with safer firework bullets. <laughs> to destroy the remote control that will place our security at risk as early as possible, okay?
Look at that dog! <coughs> no, not that one. Look at the border collie. He found us the Rimmick Cup. Huh? Puppy ran away. What's he going to do? <laughs> Feeling sick. Disgusting. Almost crying. S Sorry, Miss AC. It was me who asked you to swallow too much weird stuff. Um, even including me. I swear, when it's all over, I will take you to a professional leather care store for proper treatment. But now, we have to get out of here as soon as possible. Are you finished? Of course. Iverson looks as if he's just swallowed a whole slug slime. Eventually, he's lost to the arcanist imagination. Those journalists who are not in the plan would definitely not miss the big news. It's all a mess here, and we are going to leave with ease now. Unnoticed. <coughs> hmm? What's coming? Our kind of creature. I can't believe someone has found me. Am I exposed? the other's attention. An anxious but friendly puppy. <sighs> All right, puppy. Let's make a deal. The puppy wants to get rid of the current situation. You wanna... get out of here? It's not part of the plan, but I can take you for a ride. The puppy is asking for your opinion. What do you want? This? The pigment to make you invisible in a second. No one will see you including your puppy friends. Oh. Or this, Breeze Glider. When you open your arms, or um, your front legs, all it takes is a little breeze and the flying membrane will get you anywhere. Are you going to give everyone a surprise too? Shock them up. It will wake up all the sleepyheads, keeping everyone wide awake. Um, it's often used to deal with those heavy-headed security guards. Where is that puppy? I think it just came this way. A dog retrieved the cop. Mind-blowing news! It will be the star! It sounds weird. You have to make your choice, smart puppy. Cheers, pup!
Exactly. I'm his friend. Best friend. Um, would you mind telling us how you raised such a brilliant dog? I guess people will care about the puppy's daily life after the article's published. Well, I often enjoy the symphony with him. Sometimes we'll discuss profound philosophical issues together. Yes. We have quite an extensive collection of books at home. For example, Meditaciones de Prima Philosophia, The Republic, uh, Rhetoric to Alexander. That's an informative first-hand material. Thanks for your cooperation, Mr. Owner. It's been a pleasure to be interviewed by you. Pickles, too. Beautiful. We may have further and more detailed interviews that need your cooperation. A constant stream of interviews, film shoots, and friendly matches with the England national football team will follow. I'm sure the team would also like to thank the hero who guarded the cup in person. The puppy's heroic act may even be highly appealing to film investors. Really? Wandering is my destiny. After an unprecedented and unexpected soap bubble surprise party, none of them left anything improvised about Utopia. Not even one of them mentioning my contribution. All the people ignored a pioneer who created a new era. A monumental event was shamefully compared to a puppy. Art is dead. That's one of the stories I've come across, readers of R2. It's dramatic, full of misunderstandings. Lovely animals and terrifying intrigues, again providing us with a ludicrous ending. I'm glad to have the great honor to share this with you. Wherever you are, whatever you've been, I hope this story will bring you a moment of joy. And I am also sincerely looking forward to your stories.